everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So this is part two of magazine clippings um, to add to your journal and ideas that you could do. And I made a fun Halloween. This is a Halloween uh, journal that we've been working on. So I will make sure to put part one at the end screen so you guys can come check it out. And now today I want to do a fun cover with you guys and a flip through. And this will be in my Etsy shop, so I'll make sure to put the Etsy link down below and you guys come check it out. All right. So what I want to play with today and the cover will not be magazine because I have some fun ideas that I wanted to use. But throughout, I did a bunch of magazine clippings and uh, different things like that. So... Let's see, so today I want to play with, I got some fun Tim Holtz paper dolls here. And I just think they got like a cool kind of creepy vibe to it. So let me tie this a little tighter so we can do this. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so I just, I have some fun little things. I got some magazine stuff I'm incorporating. So what I want to do behind them is these bats. The bat wings are just so much fun. This is from a magazine, uh, just a, uh, a fun craft magazine, like a quilting. And look at that. Is that neat? That's so cool. Okay, so I got three of them here. Like that. How fun is that, you guys? So you could just go through your magazines, find out, see what you got, do some fun little clippings and stuff. So, okay. And then I also have these. I was thinking these would be fun. They're like a, they kind of remind you of magazine pages. They got a little bit of the shine to them. And uh, they're like decoupage papers. And I, if I remember, I will put this in the links below and you guys come check it out. If I forget, just uh, remind me. I'll just do a uh, decoupage paper. Um, but this is fun for the fall to play with. So what I want to do, and I want to make sure to, um, let's start off by doing this. Put these to the side, because I want to darken the wings up here. Okay, so I just got some black soot. I think it's kind of cool that it says small bat, medium bat. So that's kind of fun. So let's just kind of grunge them up. side let them dry for a second and then we could do some layering up that's kind of cool looking uh, so I just got my little it works when it wants to there we go all right I don't want to get that all over my journal okay so here we go so I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do here. So we got some, I got some pretty fabrics I wanted to throw in there. Um, let's see. I can even do some pretty papers in here. Just kind of start layering it up. And I, I definitely use uh, threads. I'll show you guys. I have some fun threads. All my little threads. That's why you keep your threads because they're great to do some um, you know, collaging and stacking them up and seeing how they look. So let's see. I'm not sure what I'm gonna like or not. So.
Okay, so I went and I got some black fabric here because I think that would be a good contrast. I just did some coffee dyed lace. It smells really good too. <laughs> um, and then I got some coffee dyed just linen buttons, which I think would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know yet. Kind of just seeing how it looks. I don't know if I want the plaid or the polka dot. She's got the plaid dress on, so I'm wondering if plaid would be cool. Let's see. So I'm just I'm just going with it here. Just seeing what we got. Just ripping and looking at it and you know, seeing what I want to use. This is just kind of my process. I just kind of stack it up, stand back, look at it. Go, hmm, what's missing? What do I need there? What do I got to take away? Um, do I really need that there? You know, that kind of stuff. So I want this to be really raggedy. So you just got to take it and just pull your threads like that. Okay. And keep your threads. Those are great. Kind of cool though. Okay. Now with these little guys. I know, I know I was gonna do the paper, but now I'm looking at it. I don't know if I wanna do the paper. That's I said, I don't I never know what I want to do <laughs> until I start, you know, looking at it and standing back and seeing exactly how I want it. Like, I mean, maybe we can do a little layering up. What do you guys think of that? Is that kind of cool? Hmm, okay. And then I know I have some words or, or some little tokens would be fun. Just the little Tim Holtz. Just the tokens. And I think they're in my links down below. It's just the thought tokens. Be you bravely. That actually might be a light the way. That might be kind of cool. And I can hang it off here with like a bolt pin. Or be you bravely for Halloween. Ooh. Free to fly would be kind of cool too. Because they have bat wings. Hmm. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Okay. Let's do free to fly. Now I'm gonna hang that with the bulb pin right there. 
I think I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you guys are liking this video, please hit the like button. That helps my video get out there further. And I really appreciate you guys. And comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking and what you think of this video. I mean, I really love hearing from you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and go into a time lapse. And I'm going to just glue all this down. And get it all glued down with my Fabrifix glue is what I'm going to use. So I will be back. Okay, so I love, love the way this turned out, you guys. I mean, look at that. Is that so much fun? Look at their little wings. And then all those layers. We got it all layered up with fun little fabrics and papers. And oh my goodness, I just think it turned out so cool. And then here I have just a cool chain that I put on it. I just put a fun little chain with a... Um, a bulb pin with some beads on it here. And then I did free to fly. You can see that, isn't that cool? Okay, so that's the cover. And let's go through it here. Let's just do a quick flip through and see where we're at. Okay, so this is the cover of it, the inside. I think that turned out really fun with my little napkin decoupaged in there. Okay, and so this is just stuff from the magazine that I went through, a fun um, quilty magazine that had some Halloween stuff. Did some stenciling in the last video. And it's just some fun little flip throughs here. I mean, I'm trying not to get the glare for you guys, but isn't that fun? So I'll just do it like that. I mean, they're just some fun little things you can, oh my gosh, there's just so many uh, journaling spots and different things like that. So I don't need that that long, but let's do that. There we go. Got just a little side tuck here with some fun little pumpkins sticking out. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I did all this and stuff, I did most of it in a time lapse and stuff on my the video, but I will put that on the end screen so you guys can check it out. I mean, this is just so much fun to uh, flip through your magazines and you know just sit and watch your favorite programs and see what you can find. Get the little kitty cats. And then this one's just the little owls on it, if you could see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. And just some more journaling spots. Get yourself some crow or a raven. This is just some fun magazine stuff. So you don't need nothing fancy, really, to make a junk journal and... I'm sure you guys have some stencils probably hanging around and some magazines that you've had, you know, you can get them at Goodwill. You can get them, you know, just wherever you can find them. They're all over the place. And then you probably have some stacked stash somewhere, you know, <laughs> I know I did. Uh, so I just have these clipped together like this. Cause I think it's fun to have it so you can just unclip them and uh, move them wherever you want. So I get some tea dyed papers. That. Go like this with that. And got some sunflowers throughout. I just did kind of a fall Halloween little mixture of a journal here. 
So it's just a bunch of fun things that you can write and, you know, talk about your journal, your fall that you, you know, journal about some fall things that you did and some Halloween stuff you did with your kids or your grandkids. It's just so much fun. I did some wooden beads here in the middle just to hang down. And look at that. It's just so much fun. I just love all the colors. And then this is just a journaling card on the back. And I made a little booklet with you guys. This is, some, this is a great thing to do with your scrap papers, like your end cuts that you cut off. That's the back of it. And then just some more little pocket tucks. And you got your little spooky spiders, and that's where that came out of. And then this says binding. So I sewed around that, and I just thought that was kind of fun. So. And this was really cool to do with you guys, so. Go check out how I did that. That's pretty fun. I got the pumpkin patch. Big journaling spot. With some ravens. Okay, and then that's the last little page right here. So there we go. I think this turned out so much fun. And I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think. I'd love hearing from you guys. So, and this is like a dark chocolate brown, the tie that I did here, the seam binding. Um, I didn't have any black, but I think it turned out really cool. I kind of like the contrast of the chocolate brown. I don't know if it looks black on there, but it isn't. It's like a chocolate color. But it kind of matches all the coffee dyed and fabrics and stuff. So there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.